They say, how can a regular Joe find an investor? Where would you even start? That's a good yeah. question. What this is you, a great question. What would you say it's, to that? You, you have to put yourself out there and networking is your best option. Um, if you're looking at the angel level for an investor, there there are a lot of people in, in cities, you call them like high net worth individuals. They have money. Um, they're looking to maybe put that money into a company, but it's not like they have a website advertising necessarily. You need to go find them and build that relationship especially at an angel level, what they're typically investing in is their belief in you as a person. So uh, they need to believe in the idea, but they also need to believe that you are the person who's going to take it over the finish line. So go to events, uh, networking, anything at all that uh, that you think that there might be some, some potential investors at, go and work the room. Uh, it's cheap to print off some business cards. I, I know in the 21st century, it seems archaic, but you put that phone number in someone's hand, you get their number back and you follow up with them and you do it over and over and over. Uh, and then you do that with a second and a third and a fourth and a fifth person. Uh, you probably could be talking to a hundred people every time you're trying to raise money and you'll get 95 no's and four maybes and finally you'll get a yes. So uh, hustle uh, is really the best thing that you can do in that. And you learn it by is about, doing it. You learn by doing it as I, as I understand, I mean, as I recall from that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, great, it, okay, great it, it, things. First. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, because whenever I talk, you get muted for some reason. So I'm just going to let you finish. I was going to say, uh, if you're not comfortable with, with talking to people and networking, the only way that you're going to get over that fear is by going out and doing it. And uh, there will be times, perhaps, where you're going to mess something up, and that's okay. Just, you know, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and go talk to the next person. It's, it is the only way to learn the comfort there. Yeah, and that that's great advice. I mean, you said something like three things that I wanted to I, uh, expand on because I thought they were great. Number one, business cards. Yes, business cards. Go to vistaprint.com. Print up some business cards from like two, for 20 bucks or 15 bucks or whatever it is. You can print up some professional cards. And, and you're right. It does sound archaic, but it is not. It is very, very necessary, especially to do this type of activity that you're describing where you're networking. Um, you need to be able to get your business card into people's hands. They have your contact information. It doesn't just say your phone number and your name. It says what you do. It says your tagline, you know, starting up this business. Here's my information. You could even put in like what you're looking for, or some other little blurb of information about what you're doing. And then they have that. Um, then uh, the type of activity you're describing, it's basically networking. Angel investors, for those who don't know, are like you said high net worth individual they're people that they're investing their own money and in practice you like you, as you said high net worth individuals a lot of doctors i know will do that they tend to be uh people that invest in things where they themselves are not a driving force in the business they just sort of like you said they they, they believe in you you know you might be starting a company that's doing plumbing or something and they say no i believe in you i think you're going to be successful and i think this coming uh, i think this city needs plumbers or something a new plumbing company so they will uh invest in you where, whereas they themselves don't know much about plumbing and they're not going to be sitting in on your meetings and you know giving you notes and and and, and sort of standing over your shoulder um so they generally are those type of investors i I, I don't personally, I don't know any doctors that invest in like medical device type companies. You would think more of them would, but maybe they do. I just don't, I, I don't know any. I don't know if you know any. No, well, uh, medical, medical device company is probably more than any one person could, could invest in to take it over the finish line anyways. I've worked on a few of those businesses and that's an expensive venture. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing. Um, but then you get another type of angel, right? The angels where... The reason why you want to work with them is not necessarily because they have money, but because they are an expert and they are high, like, like they themselves maybe made their fortune working in that business. They know everything about that business. They know everyone in that business, uh, you know, in that industry. So the reason why you'd want to work with them is not just to get the money, but to get to tap into their their help and them opening doors for you and them giving you pointers and things like this. Um, that's, that's the other reason you would want to connect with these people. 
And I am a big advocate of that. Like, you know, if you can bring someone in that doesn't just give you money, they give you money and they give you the keys to success with their advice. You know, that's like a double whammy. That That's where, to me, it makes a lot of sense. I don't know if you want to speak to any of that. Well, yeah, and, and to build on that a bit, Bill, um, there's the, the industry experts, which is invaluable, um, because it also shows that someone who's been there, done that, has put their faith in you, and that goes a long way for getting customers. The other type of oh, investor yeah. that helpful is someone who says, I've helped scale up companies before and take them from zero to 60. I see faith in you. I'm going to invest and I'm going to get on board actively to help you with that scale up process. Hmm. Um, you know, I think as founders, a lot of the time, there's this, a certain amount of pride that you think you can do it all because we've done it all uh, from the start. We've built this thing from the ground up and that we can just continue to build it up. But those kinds of investors, if you have someone who says, I'm going to help you take this thing into the stratosphere, Oh, that is a good feeling. Um, and you want to take that person and th throw them as much as they want to take on. Um, yeah, those it's are great to get that support and that uh, someone believing in you and f really feeling like they're they're they got your back. They're they're in your camp. They're on your team, you know, because they're taking a personal risk to help you. Basically, you know, it's a great feeling.